Hello everyone. Welcome to Coffee and Conversation with Kristen. So I wanted to share with you right off the bat, one of the best gifts I got for Christmas this year is this tea blue. And for those of you, and I've talked about it in the past, it does coffee, tea, whatever you're drinking. Um, I drink a lot of tea. So this is really cool because it actually, you put the tea right in with your hot water and it steeps as you drink it. So it's a pretty fun thing for those of you who don't uh, know about this. It was new to me uh, and you're drink tea drinkers, excuse me, you gotta get one of these. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. It is a kickoff to 2022. Um, happy New Year, right? It is one of those where we are not going to look directly at this year. We are going to sit back and just let it flow, right? <laughs> The last two years, nonetheless, were pretty difficult in a lot of ways. And one of those things that came in the housing industry was the lack of supply, the over demand, the low rates, um, the craze of it all, right? And it, it gave us some trying times. Guidelines changed. So even if you did a loan two or three years ago, it's completely different than maybe how you write it right now in some terms, not all, but in some, okay? And in 2022, I think those are going to pretty much stay the same with the different variants that come out all the time and things like that. I just don't think that Fran oh, <laughs> Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are ready to release those guidelines yet. So a lot of the guidelines that you see are not even just lender to lender, but are overall, which we all have to look at, meaning for your self-employed. Self-employed is still going to be really scrutinized. Even if you're doing really well, and even if you've been self-employed for 20 years, I empathize with you 100% on this. However, have those taxes ready, have that P&L ready, definitely have your business bank statements ready. Those things, I just don't know if they're, they're gonna go anywhere, okay? Some great news we got on the home front is that Freddie Mac is now going to allow for first-time home buyers to buy a two unit with 5% down. So they changed it to 15% over COVID. That one did get lower to 5%. One of them I'm super excited about. Hope you guys are too if you're looking in that investment space. Uh, a couple other things that we're just going to note. Interest rates are technically planning on going up. Um, now, I've been saying for years and years and almost 20 years in this that I never thought they'd get any lower than they did. So I always leave that open for what ifs, right? There are things like COVID that we just don't see coming that are going to change some things. There's also some things coming that we know are, are going to influence us, which is inflation. So with that being said, inflation is going to be a part of this. It is going to tick up rates. Our Federal Reserve Chairman finally came out and tapped on the word inflation, brought it to life, rates started to tick up. So if you are looking at buying something, I definitely presume it's a good idea for you to look at buying sooner versus later. Um, there's my sidekick, you guys know Addie. With a few other things, just keeping in mind, demand is probably going to stay high, okay? We don't have a lot of supply coming on and the recent numbers are basically stating that we need almost 2 million home starts to get out of this and we have 1 million, okay? Obviously that's nationwide. However, you can see we're about half the way there, which for the next foreseeable future, one year, two years, maybe up to five years, um, we'll continue to do the research and bring you updates as we know. There's going to be a demand issue, supply issue, which means you're going to have to jump. You're going to have to be ready. Have those pre-approvals with you as soon as you can and get those done as soon as you can so that you can be prepared as possible. Our team is a well-oiled machine at this point. We've really got everything in place for you to move, move fast. That's the other thing we're gonna think we're gonna see a lot of is moving quick. What does that mean for you as the consumer or the real estate agent? That means we have to be on the go and ready all the time. If you're even thinking about a home, purchase, get a pre-approval. It's one credit pull, it doesn't affect anything. You don't have to be concerned, it doesn't cost you anything. So if you're even kind of sniffing around thinking it's a possibility, get pre-approved so you are ready. Two, make sure you have all your ducks in a row. Make sure the funds that you plan on using are ready. What does that mean? Is your, are you getting a gift from a family member? Make sure that family member is ready for it. Are you saving? Do you have it? Make sure you're ready for that. Are you using proceeds from your home? That's great. Just make sure your lender is aware of all of those things, all right? 
we can close and we can get clear to close in as little as 10 to 15 days with our Red Arrow Express. That's huge, right? We have some really great appraisers on our panel who are going to help us get that done. However, that means we also need you, the buyers, to be as prepared as possible. Meaning that when we ask you for documents, you get them back to us for sure within 24 hours, if not less. These are things that we can only work as fast as you allow us to. Get your documents signed. Get on the phone and ask the questions. If you have any questions that maybe didn't touch base, there's a possible typo. Remember, everybody in these transactions are human beings. We're all doing the best we can, but we wanna stay as efficient and as effective as possible, which means we need your help in doing that. We will absolutely get this done. Team Mambos has some big goals for this next year and we really wanna make sure we are helping everyone possible take advantage of the lowest rate that they can possibly take advantage and win every house they want, truly want, and put an offer in. We can help you do that. We will do everything we can to help make that happen for you. So we'd love to hear from you. Please reach out to myself, to anyone on my team. We will happily get you going on this, answer any questions you have, and we would love to earn your business in 2022 and beyond. We are licensed in all of the Midwest and Florida. A few more states coming this year. Thank you so much for the years past and all the trust and uh, opportunities you've given us to help you. We look forward to the future with you. Thank you so much. Cheers to a new year. Bye-bye.